there's a whole long list of different menopause symptoms. Um, and uh, really, we, we know about the common ones. So, but I would broadly break them down into two categories. And I think this is a useful way of looking at them. You have the physical symptoms, and, in, and then you have the emotional, uh, psychological symptoms. So some of the physical symptoms would be you, you know, hot flushes are probably the most common. Um, then you uh, uh, anxiety, although that would probably be best placed in the emotional category. Uh, vaginal dryness, uh, urinary incontinence. These are some of the uh, physical symptoms that are common. Uh, lack of uh, disturbed sleep, although you could maybe place that partly in the uh, emotional category as well. But, and most people tend to focus on the physical symptoms when they talk about how intrusive menopause symptoms can be. However, about 50% of women will have some kind of emotional disturbance as well. It's very underestimated, but nevertheless very intrusive. So some of those emotional symptoms will be anxiety, depression, uh, more stress, lack of mental clarity, um, a lot more variability in emotion and emotional instability, very, very commonly reported. Um, and often what these women need to restore their well-being is not an antidepressant, but they need to be given their hormones back, preferably in a natural form. Hormones tend to decline in a woman, usually between the age of 45 and, and 55. And it, it is, that's when most women, and when I say most, we're probably talking about 80% of women, will, will have some kind of symptom, either physical or, or emotional disturbance. And uh, in my book, and in what we do in, in and what I do in my clinic, once I've assessed levels and established that they are uh, diminished. I, I restore the hormones in a natural way and what will happen as a natural consequence of that is that often the both emotional and physical symptoms will very quickly resolve over a period of two or three months. Menopause can be extremely intrusive uh, in women um, and in some more than others, and, and we underestimate its impact, in my opinion, and probably men underestimate the, the impact on women, although um, uh, they secondarily see, may, may suffer from the effects of that in their partners, for example. So, um, but um, what we find time and time again in the work that I do here, uh, with restoring hormone levels, with natural hormones, is it's a way of restoring a person's emotional and functional balance. And we can normally achieve that very quickly, very pleasing results. The nice thing about using natural hormones is that they tend to not have some of the downsides and side effects that the synthetic hormones have. Mm -hmm.